Hello and welcome to your weekly therapeutic session of thrifting. This video, I am going to Buffalo, New York, United States of America, and we're going to go thrift there um, at Goodwills. I want to hit up a few, but let's see. Somebody online, 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 online said uh, that I should check out Savers, so we're going to do that. Wish me luck. Hey guys, how do you like my massive glasses? Do I look like a celebrity? First time ever I bought glasses this big. Okay, here I thought I was gonna make a nice scenery video, but my window is smudgy, so it's disgusting. Nothing like the vlogs I've seen in the past that I thought mine would be like, nope. Still driving to Buffalo two hours. Now we're at Target because Anusha wanted to check out Target because she's obsessed. Anyways, I found these Kleenex that are hand towels that you just put into your towel thingy and at the time I thought this is so unique and I've never seen these before but I think I have. This was their Christmas section and Anusha, I like these houses because they were black so like a gothic Christmas with those white trucks hauling a Christmas tree. Apparently there's a trend on TikTok where you go around looking for trucks hauling Christmas trees. Every time you find it you say, look, truck hauling a Christmas tree. Finally made it to Savers and somehow the sign was very familiar. At this jewelry section, um, I didn't really make a big good video, but I found a sapphire ring. Here it is. I didn't think it was sapphire at first. I thought it was onyx until I put it up to the sun and then I came home and I did tested it with the gem tester and it is sapphire and 925 silver. The other stones are um, cubic zircons, I believe. So remember when I said it all looked very familiar? Savers is basically value village. Value Village and Savers is exactly the same. For some reason, I just didn't know that the Value Village in America is called Savers. So I was on a budget. Look at this cute dog. Look at this purse dog pot. I don't know why I didn't get it, but I was on a budget, so I wouldn't wanted to go around and this was $5.99. Um, the budget was $200. If you spend more than that, you have to pay customs and tax or whatever at the border because we were only staying there for one day. So I tend to shop alone, or I like to shop alone so that I can concentrate. But this time around, I had Anushe, my daughter, and also my boyfriend with me. And I think I was very distracted. Hi, Vintage Finds. More so than that I would have been calmly going through the aisles like I normally do. I think I was also in like a weird hurry. Even though they weren't like rushing me, but I felt like, felt rushed. And I think that might also be the reason why I feel like I didn't do a really good job making this video. Either I was moving too fast or I was too zoomed in. I didn't like calmly make my videos like I normally do. Plus, I guess it was a new place. She wanted to get all of these. I said, okay, get number 12 because she's turning 12. And she's like, no, but I can get one for every year. I'm like, nope, thank you. If you're new to my channel, you might not know this, but vintage and antique dolls, I try to stay away um, because I have this irrational fear that they might be haunted, um, although I think they're absolutely beautiful. Here are bunnies. There were so many bunnies because I think, I guess, Easter is on its way. Very cute. But once again, I was trying to be very picky about what I'm going to take from here, get from here. So she found Precious Moments packaged ornament i thought that was so cool for 2.99 because these sell for for a bit <laughs> uh when people are interested in them so the tree? yes that's that what that cool. is i can't believe i found precious moments for 2.99 original package i found it now. yeah i mean you found she was right of course she was like why are you trying to take credit for something i found i'm like okay fine you found it but like i birthed you so here um she found an applause sign um and she's like put it in your what law what not lives and anytime <laughs> just have it on constantly <laughs> as if we're on a show and i was like maybe i should get it but no i actually left it behind a lot of boxed um christmas decor which i thought was pretty cool these were heavy uh stocking hangers but I w i'm looking for something more um cast iron more mid-century <laughs> Another stocking hanger, this time it's Santa, and I believe it's made of brass, but it was $6.49 and there was two of them. I thought it was a bit steep for the brass uh, Santa stocking stuff, um, hangers. 
So although I put them in my cart, I didn't actually end up getting them. Here I found more precious moments. This is another uh, ornament, uh, plate-like ornament for $2.49, great price. So I got this, I believe um, there was four of these. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so four ornaments and one little plate for precious moments and it says 1988 on them. These look like they were made by or with sand uh, soapstone. Um, very cool, but uh, once again, I didn't want to break up the scene. I wanted to buy either all of them or none of them. I like the horse a lot, actually. Here I found an ornament, glass ornament that says baby's first, I guess Christmas, because it's an ornament. I really liked it, but I was being very picky about what I'm getting um, from the States because I was on a budget. We got there around um, 12 or 1 p.m. and it was really busy. And of course it was a Saturday, so I, I try not to go thrifting on the weekends. You found this candle holder that's like, um, what is this thing from the sea? Like, anyways, I put it in my cart because I thought I might get it, but I didn't end up getting it. Of course, I found a brass chamber stick and I got it. I mean, of course, look at it. It's so old looking and it's so beautiful. She found this hand-blown glass um, candle holder thing, but that goes into something, into a um, cast iron or metal thing like that. So even though I put it in and I thought it, it fit, it wasn't meant for this candle holder. So at the end, I left it behind. I'm trying to see if it's fitting, but it's not actually fully fitting inside because it's not meant for this candle holder plus i think the holder it's of the metal part is actually a plant holder <laughs> i was just you know making making do A lot of things. If this was my local savers, I would have probably picked up so many things. Here, she found a llama. I thought she was going to get it because she likes llamas, but she left it behind. I am still looking for candelabras, especially the cast iron ones, like the one I sold already. Can't really find anything that's not, that's not something that goes on a wall. Should have probably gotten that wooden stand there because that's helpful to display items. Here I found a beautiful garlic jar. It is handmade, has a cork that still fits. It's signed at the bottom, studio pottery, beautiful design and hand painted. So excited for it. Is that a baseball bat or a bat you keep in your home for thieves and such? Okay, when I picked it up, I wasn't paying attention. The bottom part is not wood, it is plastic. And uh, even though I put it in my cart, I didn't actually end up getting it. Ooh, finally I zoomed out, jeez. I feel like I was not in the best state of mind to be making a video. Like, I, my video skills dropped drastically. <laughs> 
found another brass chamber stick that is slightly different from the other one and I was like this is awesome yes please a lot of candles but I didn't want to come to all the way to United States to buy candles so I didn't end up getting any from here Here I'm being informed by my minions that there's a new cart out, so go grab something. And he actually already looked at it and he was like, look at that, and look at that glass. Pick it up. I'm like, okay. So I picked this up. Later, of course, I found out that somebody had decoupaged or painted on top of another pot. Anyways, I grabbed the cranberry glass, um, little pitcher, maple syrup, uh, syrup pitcher, um, right away, of course. Of course. <laughs> It was $4.99, don't get me wrong, it wasn't cheap, so, but I feel like I could get at least double my money on that one, minimum. I left this one behind, of course. Here she was saying she found something vintage, it was an empty Tic Tac <laughs> container. I was like, okay, thank you for your jokes. Here we are at the furniture section. Um, I thought there was a lot of variety here in the United States. Not just here, also at the Goodwills I went to. So much variety in terms of velvet couches, which I know sell a lot. So really good condition velvet couches were just chilling there. Anyway, it's not here, but you see a lot of tables and cabinets and these chairs as well and some great mirrors and artwork too. This one was painted by somebody. If they had done a better job, uh, I might have grabbed it because it was um, colored, like the paint was on the actual mirror, which I, I know can be hard to get rid of. This little cabinet was sold already. And just as I turn around from here, I finally found a candelabra. Just like, ooh, finally, finally. It was $4.99 and totally worth it. The metal, the art on there, the beautiful flowers, the matte black, perfect. It's sitting in my car. It's going to end up in my antique booth. I'm not even putting it up for sale on my on my website because it will be so hard to package and ship out. So, But I'm so satisfied because you know I've been looking for a candelabra for a while. Did you see these coffee tables? There's new ones, there's old ones, all kinds of coffee tables. It was so cool. Like this one, the white one that's so in. These are all vintage uh, rocking chairs. That's what I'm pointing at. Vintage, vintage, vintage. <laughs> Look at these armchairs. You would never find stuff like this in Canada. Like, what is happening here? This red one, the orange one, all I had to do was to use my the heavy duty vacuum shampoo thing that I have for upholstery and done and done. I could have kept that for my home. The blue velvet one in the back, oh my God. Looking for mid-century lamps, but I didn't really find anything here today. Lots of floor lamps, new and old ones, if somebody was looking for it, you know. Here's a toy section, so of course the uh, two people I was with were playing with the toys there. Or just a grown-up, just a grown-up was playing with a toy there. This was the last shelf I kind of looked at just to see if I'm missing anything and then after that we were out of there. Finally made it to a Goodwill. It was excellent weather for December, seriously. I wasn't even wearing a jacket. And I was so excited to see the sign that said, today, orange is half off. We never have that in Canada. I don't know why. I mean, at least in Ontario. Of course, I had to change the cart because this one wasn't really moving. I really wanted to go around look for orange stickers now because that's something I'm deprived of here when I shop at the Goodwills in Ontario. Once again, I was really impressed with the furniture section, the couches here, the chairs, 
mirrors there was a set of four dining chairs and a dining table just chilling this couch was actually very clean and look how neutral it is like perfect velvet chair there was another blue velvet couch in the back this mirror was also painted like the other one we saw also i feel like that blue couch might in the back might have been a sister couch to the other one that i missed this was also velvet and gray so neutral and very clean surprisingly there's me in the mirror hi Here we are in the painting section and I actually did find something here. This was a nice picture of a boat. Not bad if that was my theme. This um, ro this painting or these roses were actually I believe decoupaged. Somebody had done a really good um, hobbyist piece or craft piece. This one too but of course I found the boat in the back. That was actually original watercolor and I will be buying that one for sure. And I did. It's here now. I love the colors, the sunset, it's all very pretty. Lots of contemporary art and pictures. Once again, more roses. I think somebody just donated a bunch of art with roses. I once again did not find any mid-century lamps in the lamp section. Here's a turkey basket. Should I have gotten this? I feel like somebody would have bought it. another turkey basket up there or was it a duck no turkey for sure so this i grabbed and i noticed there was a bunch of holes in the pineapple i believe this is an incense holder it was 3.99 and it seemed like 3.99 was a standard price for the goodwills in amherst buffalo I also noticed that the home decor sections in the Goodwills weren't really that big and they were pretty crowded and also the aisles themselves you couldn't fit a cart in there barely could fit a cart two people cannot be in the same aisle for sure especially if they're going in the opposite direction and I think they just uh, they were way more extensive um in the clothing section and the clothing section was also way more organized i think they just in buffalo or amherst at least they and they don't really care too much about their um decor section or the home section oh my god are all these houses from the village <gasps> wait a minute did i miss a bunch of christmas village houses of course i did Okay, I got this bunny. This bunny has eggs in there. They're ceramic. One of them is coming out and I think I can put glue and stick it back in there. But I thought this was so cute and so cute. Oh my god. I still don't know what a bunny has to do with eggs. But anyway, this was a Christmas tree candle. I could have gotten it because I know sometimes they sell. But again, I was trying to be very picky with what I'm buying. They had lots of Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas mixed up in here. I think, I guess if they didn't sell the Halloween decor, they just left it there. Basically, the all this was like the holiday aisle, but for all the holidays at the same time, because obviously you see the bunnies and you know it's for Easter. Mm -hmm. 
Here I grabbed this egg um, trinket box and uh, you will watch me struggle to open this. And you know, I could have edited this part out, but really I wanted you guys to see that the struggle is real, especially when you're filming with one hand and you're trying to do other stuff with your other hand. But finally, I got it open and I noticed it clicked on nice, like closed nice. This one was way too easy to open. It didn't click close. So I was like, I don't know if I want to get this. I actually don't remember which ones I got now. Oh yeah, I definitely did not get this one. I got the other one that I couldn't open. <laughs> He's trying to be funny. Show, show me a sign that says, I love, my I love when my wife lets me do whatever I want. Something like that. He thought it was so funny. Okay, yes, this was a unique teapot with a tulip for a snout. I do agree. However, I also felt like it was ugly. Not sure why. Here we are at the next Goodwill location. Over here, orange was also 50% off. At this location as well, the housing or home section wasn't that big. It was mostly the clothing. Nice marble bottom glow, but it's contemporary and I already have one for my home. Picnic plate holders. I really like the shape of this and I thought it was a wine bottle holder um, and I almost got it because it's very mid-century kind of shape but I think there was something missing I believe there was a piece of it that might have been missing so here they're gonna show me a bunch of clothing that they're gonna find <laughs> they actually went around looking for Spongebob clothing and found three things and we bought all three of them Okay, I thought this was really funny. Princess parking only, others will be towed. <laughs> Is it a princess or a witch? Hmm, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Could be both. They might be interchangeable, you know what I mean? This angel had the cutest eyes, and I know if I was doing a whatnot live, somebody would have bought it <laughs> on the live and said, yep, I want it, but I don't, I didn't buy it. That's not something usually I pick up, unless somebody wants it specifically. Why are you shushing me? Okay, is this Santa stealing? Like, what's going on? Trying to park my cart so I can go in the art section since there was a lot of people there. I was looking for antique frames, original art, or anything that I could find and flip for a profit, as usual. <laughs> or for my own gallery wall. That would be cool too. Okay, here we go. Looked like cast iron stocking holder, but it wasn't. And sorry, my video wasn't that well made. A lot of people were staring at me because it was like the middle of the day. It was really busy. I like this a lot. This was I maybe the same street light in different weathers. I think that was the concept. I'm not sure. It looked kind of like a different, different street light in the other picture, but cute combination for sure. Once again, there's a lot of good art here, but I would only pick up this kind of stuff if somebody specifically wanted it. Otherwise, I stick to original art, vintage and antique frames, mirrors, stuff like that. Okay. 
Okay, I noticed a lot of frames with people's actual pictures in them. So just donated the frames with the pictures inside? Like, what? I don't know. I don't get it. I would never do that. <laughs> but that's just me. Looked handmade, but when I looked closely, it was actually print. Okay, look what I found here. It's a little piggy with a little bow on the head and eyelashes. So I watched a crazy lamp lady do a um, whatnot show for piggies and she had the exact same piggy bank in her show. This one had the bottom part uh, missing so you can really save money in there. Also, I would have probably picked it up if I was as popular as a crazy lamp lady but currently I am not so I left it behind. I did pick this up. This was a corn um, sort of signed pottery, but it had like the corn pins inside as well for $1.99. I thought this was a good buy for summer or spring even. Here comes the SpongeBob attire. Okay, somebody took a bunch of vintage glass and made a monument with glue, I guess. <laughs> Clearly, somebody made a funny piece. A cup with the moon on there. This is definitely up my alley. And it was stamped at the bottom, not sure. But it wasn't actually a cup with a handle, so I left it. She keeps looking at me. Why? Stop it. I'm not getting you. I have seen pieces like these before. I am not sure if there's a specific word for this kind of art and if it ever survives because I feel like there's too many protruding things that might fall off or get chipped. I thought that was, this was funny. It was actually um, like rubbery at the bottom and at the top. So <laughs> cool if I, if I was looking for contemporary. So I got all four of these. They were $5.99 for a set of four. And um, I believe this is the salt, uh, made of salt in the, the candle holders. After this, we left because everybody got hungry and we ended up at a restaurant down the street called Clay Handy. Okay, we're at we're at Clay Handi, Pakistani restaurant, and it's super cool. They make these clay plates for us, and um, we have some chutney. We got water, and there's sugar in this, and there's cool stuff, and their menu is like a full entire book. It's like really big. And they have a kids menu. Um, I got, I got the, um, I got. Where is it? I'm gonna try to find where I, what I got because it's like there's breakfast here. I got the Nahadi beef. And what you, what you guys get? Uh, we got the chicken handi. Okay, here we got our food. Here's how it looks. This is in the Handi. Handi and the Handi. Okay, yeah. And there we go. Just waiting on the naan and some complimentary white rice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I eat the meat? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay, we're good. 